Hey guys, my name is Sadie and welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you're watching this video. If you've seen any of the skincare videos on my channel, then you'll probably know that I am a big fan of Korean skincare. Since I've started this skincare journey I've been on for about the past two years, I have really switched my focus in the type of products that I'm gravitating towards. I used to really be focused on what are the active ingredients or the exfoliators that I can be using to help Help treat my skin issues and nowadays it's more like what can I do to help my skin barrier be healthy and the moisture and hydration in my skin how can I keep that maintained and I have been really loving using so many Korean skincare products to help me on this journey I love Korean skincare for a lot of different reasons but one thing that's really great is oftentimes the products can be really reasonably priced and all of the products I'll be talking about today you can find for under or around $20. So when it comes to buying and trying new skincare products to really see what will help and benefit you, Korean skincare can be a more accessible and low risk way to try out new skincare. So I have five different products from five different brands I'll be talking about today. All of these I've been using and trying over the past couple of weeks. So I'll give you my thoughts and review on each of them. Some of these are products by brands that I've mentioned before, but some of them are the first product from this brand that I've ever tried. So without further ado, let's get into this review of some Korean skincare products. The first one I want to mention is actually a cleansing oil and this is by the brand Skin1004. I've talked about this brand before and I've talked about their Madagascar Centella Ampule. This is another product from that same Madagascar Centella line, but this is a cleansing oil. So this is something that you'd use in the first step of your skincare routine at night to remove sunscreen and remove makeup you might be wearing. Even if you are a person that doesn't wear makeup all the time, if you are wearing sunscreen, then I still would suggest it's best to double cleanse to really get all of that sunscreen off. Oftentimes, I'm not the biggest fan of cleansing oils. I prefer a cleansing balm or a cleansing gel, but I was curious to try this out. And this is probably my favorite texture cleansing oil I've ever tried. It is described as a light cleansing oil and of all the cleansing oils, oils I've tried before. This is the most lightweight, which can be good because of the way that it works into the skin and how it washes off the skin. Really, after rinsing this off, there feels like no sort of trace of oil left on your skin or no sort of oily film, which I really appreciate about it. But one downside to that is that it is super runny and because it is so runny, it can be harder to use and apply the product. I feel like I really have to make my hand into the deepest cup shape I can in order to make sure I'm not spilling any of this product when I use it. So that of course doesn't make it the most ideal to use. That's why I tend to prefer cleansing balms or cleansing gels just because of that ease of application. But I do really enjoy how cleanly this washes off. It's also very effective in taking off all of your makeup. I am a person who wears waterproof eyeliner and waterproof mascara and this does a great job of removing this without having to rub too hard on my eyes. And if you have super sensitive eyes, I think this would be a really great one for you as well. I don't experience any stinging in my eyes or any cloudiness in my eyes with this oil. Because it is so lightweight in nature, I feel like that really helps with that. So if you have more sensitive skin or eyes, I think this would be a great option for you. Or perhaps if you have more oily skin and you're looking for something super lightweight that won't add any more oil to your skin. I can't really relate to that since I'm such a dry skinned person. I love all the moisture and hydration I can get in pretty much every step. I can't, however, speak on the benefits that you might see of having Centella in this first wash off step. To be honest, I don't really go to this product expecting to see any benefits from that. But besides the Centella, I still think that this is really a great cleansing oil. If you do prefer your first step cleanse to be in an oil form, I think this is a really great one. Especially if you have sensitive eyes, this is one that didn't sting or irritate my eyes whatsoever. Next product is by the brand One Thing. One Thing is a super interesting brand that really focuses on single ingredient 
products. This toner I have right here contains Artemisia capillaris extract or mugwort extract as it's also known by. And mugwort is a botanical type of ingredient that's supposed to really help with soothing and redness and irritation on the skin. And I've talked about how I like some other Korean skincare products that contain mugwort. So I was interested in trying this one out. I was running out of my I'm from mugwort essence. So I picked this one up to see if it can replace that in my routine. I mentioned before how I often like to use products with mugwort in it on the same nights that I'm using my retinol to kind of help combat the redness that I might experience from the retinol. This product is very minimal in a lot of senses. Not only is it minimal in the ingredient list because it does just focus on that one thing, but the packaging is also very minimal. It has just a clear plastic bottle and a plastic top as well. Kind of thought when I was shopping for it, it would come in a glass bottle, but it is plastic. But that plastic packaging does also make this a more affordable product as well. But I'm also finding this kind of minimal in its benefits I'm noticing on the skin too. I don't find this the most hydrating toner. If I compare this to my Mugwort Essence by I'm From, I definitely think that's a lot more hydrating on the skin. This brand has lots of different types of ingredients that they have in this toner form. Also Centella Asiatica, and I believe they have a niacinamide toner and a propolis toner. So there's lots of different ingredients that you can experiment with when it comes to this brand and because the product is so focused on just that one thing you can really hone in on the benefits of just that ingredient. While this isn't my favorite form of mugwort that I've tried I still do see the benefits of mugwort in my skin when it comes to helping reduce the irritation or the redness that I see either after cleansing or from any powerful active ingredient I might be using. So I think this is a really cool and interesting brand when it comes to experimenting with these ingredients that you may not have tried before and seeing if you can benefit from incorporating that ingredient specifically in your skincare. And it's a toner that sinks in super fast and I think pairs along well with whatever skincare product you may be using alongside it. This next product is by a brand that I think of as one of those staple Korean skincare brands that I feel like has been around for a long time and a lot of people have talked and raved about. This product right here is by the brand Pyongkang Yul, and this product specifically is the Essence Toner. If you've shopped around in Korean skincare websites, then I don't doubt that you have seen this very distinct packaging by this brand. Pretty much all of the products in their line has this blue packaging and the same looking label. So this product and brand were actually created at the Pyongkang Korean Medicine Hospital, which is known for treating atopic skin disorders. So things like dermatitis or allergic reactions that you may see forming on the skin. It's an institution that's focused on Eastern and holistic wellness. So because of that, it's a brand that I feel like is very focused on having skincare products that will not be irritating for the skin and are suitable for sensitized or reactionary skin types. And it's all about being gentle on the skin while also maintaining that right balance of oil and moisture on the skin too. I've seen this brand around for a long time but I had never tried any of their products but this essence toner is the first one that I picked up and I have to say I am just super impressed and really loving this. It feels like one of the most luxurious and hydrating toners for your skin. It feels like a blanket of moisture being put on your skin. I love that dense, thicker than water kind of toner that has a good amount of viscosity to it and this is definitely that. Compared to this one by One Thing, this one is just so much thicker feeling and it has not really stickiness, but just right amount of viscosity that my skin really loves. My skin has the tendency to kind of absorb whatever you may put on top of it, so I really like building up those layers of moisture when it comes to my toning steps, and this is one that is just so perfect for that. Another thing this brand likes to do, instead of formulating their products with water as that ingredient that things are diluted or dissolved into, this brand uses different root extracts, and having that root extract based on the type can have a lot of benefits, but mostly will help with sinking into the skin a little deeper and a little easier, and also the one contained in this one, which I believe is milk vetch root extract. 
I don't know if I said that completely right, but it also claims to help with skin elasticity through protecting it with antioxidants. I'm really impressed with this product and it definitely makes me wanna try more from the brand too. This next Korean brand, I've heard pronounced a couple of different ways. If you're pronouncing it like it's spelled out in English, it might be hai gi or hai ji, but I think if you were pronouncing it in Korean, it would be hi ge. This is the Relief Chamomile Gel Toner. And this product is truly like nothing else I've ever tried before. I've never heard of a gel toner before, so I wasn't really sure what to expect from it, but it comes out as a very lightweight gel that sinks into the skin very quickly, so it doesn't really feel like a gel moisturizer, but is super lightweight and feels like as the name suggests, a gel toner. So this is something that I use in the toning step. So immediately after cleansing or after a couple of other toners, it combines the benefits from having a nice soothing gel and also a watery toner all in the same product. The main calming and soothing ingredient in here is azaline, which comes from chamomile flowers. Although this does come in that gel format, it really isn't enough to replace a gel moisturizer in your routine. Routine, even if you did have more oily skin, it really is meant to be used in that toner step in your skincare routine. A small amount of this product I feel goes a very long way. I pretty much just have to use one pump of it and it easily spreads out over my skin. I really love that cooling sensation that I feel after using this product and it can really give my skin that boost of hydration too, but in a very different sense than a lot of my other favorite toners. It doesn't leave a glowy or radiant finish on the skin but really sinks down and leaves that feel on your skin that you would expect from a toner so it feels slightly moisturized and ready for whatever serum or moisturizer you may put on top of it. I can really see myself enjoying using this in the hotter months too because of that cooling sensation and the ease of application. Super interesting and unique product that I've never tried something like before and I feel like will last me a super long time so it's very economic too too, since I only have to use a little bit at a time. And this last one is a new sunscreen by a brand that I've mentioned before, and this is by Beauty of Joseon. And this is the Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotics SPF 50. When it comes to sunscreens, I feel like Korean and Japanese sunscreens really can't be beat, not only for the affordability of the products, but also because of how sophisticated the UV filters seem to be when it comes to chemical filters specifically. The texture of it, I feel like, sits right in between what you would expect from a runny sunscreen and also a very lightweight moisturizing cream. Because of that, I feel like this also adds another step of moisturizer in my skin. So I like to pair this alongside with a moisturizer I feel like may not be enough for my skin in the winter. Or if you have more oily skin, I feel like this could also replace your moisturizer step. It is kind of that two-in-one product. Not only is it helping brightening your skin because it is an SPF, so it helps reduce the likelihood that dark spots or sunspots may appear on your skin, or hyperpigmentation to stay on your skin, but also contains rice and probiotics to help lighten your skin as well. While a lot of my other Korean skincare favorites have a more glowy or dewy finish on the skin, this definitely has a satin matte, if not completely matte finish on the skin. When it comes to SPF, it's just so important for it to be painless or easy to incorporate because the most important thing about a sunscreen is just for you to use it every single day. So the easier it is to use and the easier that it sinks in the skin, the more likely you're gonna be using it. I don't see any white cast left over from it and I don't notice any pilling from this product either if I put makeup on top of it. And this brand, Beauty of Joseon in general, is just a brand that I've been a big fan of. All of their products that I've tried, I've really enjoyed too. And this one definitely met my expectations, if not exceeded them. And that completes my review on five different products from five different Korean skincare brands. If you have some favorites from these brands that you've tried and that you love, please let me know about them down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like or a comment down below if you feel so inclined. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe to stick around. I would so appreciate if you did. And until the next video, I will see you all then. Bye.